Concrete repairs don't have to be hard. The corner of this stoop was missing, so I used a wire brush and a shop vac to clean it out. This next step is important. You need to use concrete bonding adhesive over top of the bare portion of the concrete. You need to apply that liberally so that the new concrete will bond to the old concrete. Also use a wire brush to take off any old paint or any material that's going to interfere with the bonding process. Then you can apply more of the bonding adhesive to those spots. Allow that to cure, then you can move on to the next step, which is to use tap cons in a tap con drill bit along with a hammer drill. You can use the hammer drill and the tap con drill bit to drill through the concrete and add your tap cons as anchors. If you want to speed up this process, you can use an SDS hammer drill. This is a great tool for old concrete that is really strong. You can drill through it, no problem whatsoever, and add the tap cons that will help the bonding process of the concrete. Now in this case, we're going to be using Quickcrete quick setting cement. This will set up in 10 to 20 minutes. You want to mix one part water to five and a half parts of the Quickcrete quick setting cement. Mix this up to a smooth consistency with a margin trowel. And pro tip here, put it onto a hawk. Then you can feed that into the corner that's missing with the margin trowel. You just need to be patient with yourself as this is pretty easy to do. The flat trowel will allow you to form and shape the corner. Then you can use a bullnose edger to shape that even more once the quick setting cement sets up. The bullnose effect will help you match aesthetics. From here I had to mix up more of the quick setting cement. You only want to mix up small batches of this that you can use within about 10 minutes. And I put the hawk directly underneath the stoop of this concrete step unit and fed the quick setting cement into that using the flat side of the trowel. The flat trowel is great because again it allows you to mold and shape the quick setting cement and get the shapes that you need to match your stoop. And then again you can use a sponge to bring out the sand and hopefully in the end you'll have a professionally looking stoop or step that'll look fixed. So hopefully these tips help you do your own concrete repair.